guys, welcome to set 11 of Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition, the Warrior playthrough. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance, I'm uh, quite a bit tired, I literally just woke up five minutes ago, and it's past the date, this, past the time this is supposed to be public, um, so I'm going to be editing, uploading, recording, editing, and uploading today. <laughs> oh god, I'm tired. Anywho, today's set is going to be a very short one, probably going to be one part, we're starting the Jaws of a Con DLC, as you can see. Let me check Sure. Yep, good. Okay. Um, the Jaws of Icon came out yesterday for about 15 bucks, which is... I was really hoping they would at least decrease it due to all the issues they had with it being a timed exclusive uh, thing on the other consoles, but eh, whatever. I understand from a business perspective why they didn't do it. Anywho. Um, let me get this back up there. There we go. Okay. The Jaws of a Con DLC will start right away once you start the game, as far as I can tell. I'm not sure if that's the case when you um, first start a new, brand new game, but that's how it was for me when I upload when I started this game up. It may only pop up when you turn level 20, because that's the minimum level requirement for the area where we're going to. So, yay. Um, <clears throat> let's keep going. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck. Alright, uh, this set is going to be very short, as I mentioned. Um, we're only going to do one thing in the actual set, due to the fact that I didn't have enough time to record long sets for the other two characters. Next set will be a lot longer, so please try to bear through with me on that. Um, also, I'm going to mention this real quickly. There is going to be a War Table quest here, around this area. If you've gotten all of the Tear Just Axes uh, waypoints in the Hinterlands... Congratulations, pledges of loyalty, conversions to Andraste. All premature. All right. Don't we deal with Corypheus. So yeah, um, be sure you get that done. It gives you a special, very interesting weapon, which I'll show you later. In the next set, probably. Um, characters for her, it's been a while, are Cassandra, Cole, and Solus. Um... Since this is taking place after I technically have beaten the main storyline, I am going to give spoilers, even though technically the game isn't beaten on this save file, so keep that in mind. Um, Lilith is going to be playing the game, or playing the DLC post-game. Uh, she's going to be done for all any any and all DLC that come out for the main storyline. Um, so I'm going to say this quickly, if you've already beaten the storyline, but you have Souls as your, one of your main mages, make sure you do the <laughs> you load up the uh, pre-Final uh, Fight game. Because Soul still is gone, even if even though uh, it's a DLC. So I'm kind of irritated about that, considering you know they didn't do that with the other DLC in Dragon Age 2. But kind of understand. They're trying to keep it as a cohesive story, not just side bits. So yeah, <clears throat> like how uh, Dragon Age 2 was very linear in the storyline. You can't just branch out and do other shit. Well, the, the, the storyline's pretty linear in this game, too, but you can branch out and do a bunch of other shit in this game. <clears throat> Where's Dragon Age 2? It's just boop, boop, boop. Next chapter. Ah, come on. Alright, I'll be quiet for the upcoming cutscene, so I'll see you guys after it's over. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. The texts say that Inquisitor Emeridum was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes, precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Emeridum stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. 
If the last Inquisitor has been missing for 800 years, it's only fitting that today's Inquisition help find him. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Ameridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. Lady Har <clears throat> I mean, Scout Harding has an impressive team. Her people brought back a number of artifacts. If you need something tracked, Scout Harding is your woman. If only it were that easy. After 800 years, we can't just look for tracks. Barring enchantment, cloth and leather will have long since rotted away. Only metal and stone remain recognizable. Complicating this are recent pieces the Avar left behind, and, of course, ancient pieces dating back to Tevinter. Fortunately, thanks to some period-specific buckling, I've been able to track our last Inquisitor. What do you have, Professor? Everything so far points to the shore not far to the south. There was some sort of battle near the shoreline. They were in a hurry. The scouts reported an island near an Avar fishing camp. But the Avar won't say much about it. I'll find a way to that island and see if there's anything useful there. Excellent. I'll continue to study what's been found. With luck, we'll both find some answers. Also, one of my research assistants, Colette, was investigating an old structure to the north. I'm not certain it's related to our investigation, but it couldn't hurt to check with her. Alrighty! So, the quest we're going to be doing for this main... For the main quest we're going to be doing for this set is going to be that What Yet Lingers. Um, we get a very interesting ability uh, from this, and I really want to get it because it's really freaking helpful to have throughout the rest of this area. Um... I'm also going to mention this again, I'm going to mention this real quickly. Throughout this area, and it is deceptively big if you if you look at the map, because, uh, button... Okay. The map pretty much stretches from here to here, and from here to about, yeah, there, as far as like, up it goes. Um, <clears throat> that may seem small, but remember the hissing waste and the, um, western approach are pretty small when you look at the map itself, but mine got to take forever to get from one end to the other. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be um, off screen after this says over, running around doing a bunch of random shit, just so I can fill out the map. <clears throat> um, a lot of the little side quests I will be doing off screen, just due to the fact that roaming around triggers them. Kind That's of annoying, but, yeah. Professor Kenrick mentioned. We'll need to find a way out there. Okay. That being said, there are also Astriums and ocularium's hidden throughout this area. Um, I already have recordings for the solutions and locations of all the shards. I will be uploading that before I upload this set, meaning I'm going to be editing it very soon. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Fuck. <laughs> ah, great, this shit. Well, let's just ignore them. Um, there are a series of very unique weapons throughout this area, called the, uh, referred to as Hakon's, uh, uh, Fury, Honor, there's probably a few others, I can't think of right now. Um, that giant right there is an ice giant. He is a bitch of a bitch. Uh, um, I'm going to be fighting him off, probably fighting him off screen, I'll think about it a bit. But he drops, uh, Hakon's, uh, Wrath, which is a very powerful bow. So, if you have, uh, Cassandra, not Cassandra, Sarah, or an archer character in your party, be sure to get that! There we are. Fuck. I also highly recommend bringing a... Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, damn it. I might want like The, uh, respect item, uh, necklace. Because you're probably gonna be respecting your character pretty soon. 
Smash. While you're running around here as well, you'll find Fade Rifts. I think you may saw a few on the map a few seconds ago. Um, I highly, highly recommend going through and getting all those as soon as possible. They each drop Tier 4 crafting material, and um, some of them will even have some pretty good freaking um, recipes inside them. So I highly recommend getting them. Um, as I just mentioned, there are new crafting materials, which are pretty wicked too. Uh, there are Avar-based uh, crafting materials, such as uh, Avar Cotton, Avar Twill, which is uh, another cloth, I believe. Maybe a leather, not sure. Um, Ice Dragon Bone, which I've already found some. There is a... I'll put the map so I can tell you where it's at. I'll show you exactly where it's at uh, next set. But around here, there's a series of waterfalls. At the highest one you can get to, there'll be a little ledge that jumps out towards it. If you jump out into it, you can find the skull of a dragon there. And examining it will give you about six or eight uh, dragon, uh, ice dragon bones. <clears throat> They're exactly the same as normal dragon bones. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's fish. Uh, They're the same as normal. Dra fuck, it's a lot of fish. Redfish too. Uh, They're the same as uh, regular dragon bones, but if you use them on a weapon. Uh, such as the staff, it'll deal ice damage instead of fire damage, which is kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, it has the same uh, visual effect as well. Shut up. The uh, weapons you see these guys have are actually Hakon's weapons. Uh, the bow is Hakon's uh, fury, a wrath. And the sword over there is Hakon's honor, which you get for beating or getting all the shards. These jaws of Hakon demanded your death. What do they have against us? Perhaps the friendlier Avar in the village Harding mentioned can shed some light. Hello. You are the Lowlander, the Call Inquisitor. I am Arvid Ross. Well fought. The fish will feed on fool's heart wine this night. I know not what brings you here. We have no quarrel, you and I. I find myself in need of a boat. I need to reach that island. The Lady's Rest. What? That island belongs to the Lady of the Skies. The spirits warn us to leave it be. I don't wish to disturb your lady, but it's important. If I give you the boat, then you anger the spirits and die. Or the Lowlanders may come for blood. That is trouble for my home, and not my trouble to take. Go to Stone Bear Home and speak with my Thane. As far as some hair, get her blessing. And you may sail to Korth's rocky heart, if you wish. Alrighty, that's nice. So we're going to go talk to the Thane of this area, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's not see um, Avar politics. <laughs> Reminds me a bit of uh, Skyrim politics. <clears throat> Alright, let's get going. So, like I said, this set's going to be pretty short. It's going to be literally one quest. Um, off screen, um, I'm going to be running around, filling out the map, doing a bunch of miscellaneous quests that aren't really that entertaining to watch. Uh, some of which are just literally follow A, B to C to D. That's about it. So, yeah. If you have trouble with a specific West, feel free to leave a comment. Seriously, guys, I I know a lot of people haven't taken me up on this, haven't not taken me up on this offer. But seriously, if you have a problem problem with a specific quest, post a comment saying, "Hey, I'm doing this quest. Um, I can't figure it out. Do you have any advice or tell me where to go?" And I'll tell you where to go. Give you advice. I'm I love helping you guys. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing these videos. So yeah, feel free to just go. Hey, fucker, I'm stuck here. What's up? <laughs> Probably nicer though, of course, but anyway, um this place is actually pretty wicked. I love this. Come on, load. Revenant hearts. Yes. Thank you. Um this stuff I don't need. Nah, fuck. 
there are two shops here that are just phenomenal. Well, one shop is phenomenal, one that's nice to have. Um, for the perfectionists out there, perfectionists out there, like yours truly, there is new um, decor and whatnot you can get. Which are in here. So let's have a go. Glass, bed, throne, heraldry, drapery, and decor. They're all actually pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of, um, uh, what's it called? Game of Thrones, it, Game of Thrones is, uh, Winterfell. They're all wood and animal skin based. Not stone or gold or things like that. So it's pretty cool to see. I'll show you the other one as soon as this rock climbing contest gets done. Is your hold beast well? We hunt as well as ever, Dane Harrison. You would be safer on the shield of the jaws of Hakko. How suspicious then has taken victory in sight of the Lady of the Sky. Ah, oh, you owe four rounds to her, not three. Ha! Ted is tipped. Wind, lift your oaths to the Lady of the Skies, and hand the rams over from sunrise. May your people be as strong as your whole beast. We've heard of your arrival, Lowlanders. Come, share my fire where we might speak. Inquisitor, I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stonebear Hold. You have guest welcome here. The Lowlanders have little love for your Dalish clan. I am impressed you came to lead their Inquisition. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. We have not come to cause trouble in your home, Thane. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. Sadly, the Jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their Thane, Gerd Harrison. I wager you have crossed blades with the jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. I was told I needed your permission to borrow a boat from the fisherman. Ah, Rolfson. He worries like a scared baby goat. The boat is yours. Tell him I said so. I will speak with you later. Fair hunting. I'll do uh, more quests while I'm here. Uh, talk to her more off more uh, off screen, but it's not really that important right now. I'll do some other quests as well. Um, come over here, by the way, and through this little stone archway, I believe it is. Yep, you'll find this little hut. <clears throat> now this hut has some nice shite in it. So go into it. Find cell. Here you will find some nice little things, like, you know, uh, weapons and whatnot. But the main reason why you want to be here are these. These are some pretty nice um, weaponry. The uh, weapons you find here, uh, the schematics you find here are piss poor compared to the legendary schematics in the Black Emporium. But they're still really good, really powerful stuff if you don't have those. Um... Here you'll find the refined armor as well. Um, refined is a tier level uh, higher than the current tier of armor you will, you'll probably have. You can also find the character-specific uh, helmets here as well, which is pretty wicked. I love that. Like Dread, Cole's hat, Assassin's hat, etc., etc., etc. So that's pretty nice. Not sure why Battle Mage's cowl is here. I think it's for the mages since there's not uh, not very many of them uh, available, but whatever. <clears throat> anyway. Let us go. Alright, so that's said and done. Let's fast travel back over to the fishing place. I'm gonna get this quest done out of the way as quick as possible. There we are. Alright, this quest here is a little glitch. I'm gonna explain why in a second. Um, Lina here is asking me to find her, her cousin, Runa. Now, you can go find her pretty easily by following these tracks, or you can just um, go straight to her.
but I'm going to warn you, I've, done, I've accidentally done this with Lilith. Um, if you go straight to her, any of these marks will stay, uh, probably stay glitched to the map. And you can never get rid of them. Rather annoying as hell. All you have to do is go to these points, uh, these points specifically, sorry, and find um, a, wall, a, var, a var wall, you can recognize it by carvings on it, and uh, run around doing your little echo thing until you find a uh, axe. And they'll say, uh, this is the climber mark, um, someone's been here, and you go to the next one, and the next one, and so on. And eventually it'll lead you to the uh, character. Pretty simple to do. Thane Sunhair gave me guest welcome at Stonebear Hold. Aye, she sent word. As a guest, then, may I please borrow your boat? We would be poor hosts to refuse. The boat is yours. I hope you come back alive. Alrighty, so let's go. He's a nice guy. So once this is done, I'll be done with this set and I'll be able to edit and upload it for you guys. I apologize really do for how short this set's going to be. I really, really wanted it to be a lot longer, but I was up till 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe even 4, working on this type of thing. Working on uh, Nexuses, so... Yeah, it takes a while to... It takes... Let's put it this way, I'm going to give you guys a little glimpse behind the veil type of view. A set takes um, about an hour, half an hour to an hour for me to record. It takes me generally twice as long to edit that same set. Um, fortunately, once I get uh, the first part done, I can edit a lot quicker, but that's besides the point. So, yeah. It's... it takes a while. What drew so many spirits to this place, I wonder? What's that? Felenders, okay. So yeah, it's it takes quite a while to edit, and then it takes a long time to upload. My God, but fortunately, I get I've been uh, been, uh, been able to edit and upload a lot faster than the old times. Boop. Okay. All right, down here. Chronicles. Ugh. Take a quick chug of our pewter, and let's get out of here. I want to jump up these. Excuse me, spirit. That can't be a good sign. Oh god. I just want a good view of this. This rift is ancient. It may have formed from the battle that took place here, not the breach. Well, that's impressive. knew only the pain, but she knew why. Darren, dreaming into darkness for Ameridan. Ameridan? Yes. Inquisitor. Beloved. I... She... Came with Ameridan to hunt the dragon. The dragon? Huge. Power like none have seen. It came from the mountains with the apple. Towns fell, all dead. One last favor for Edward Drake. Slay the Apple Dragon. Save or lay. Inquisitor Emeridan died saving or lay from a dragon. How could history just forget that? Not forgotten. 
forbidden. Darkspawn in the north. All of Orlais afraid. No one could know. Orlais must stand unstained. No fear to falter. Please, my dear, for both our people. They fought at the shore. Spirits and magic. So cold. How I found her. How she found us. They rested here. Then up the river. Metal spires. A way to stop the dragon. Then Talana returns here, alone, to wait for him. Forever waiting. Dreaming. Then... Dead. We'll find the Meriden. You don't have to wait here anymore. You did what she wanted you to. You can let go of her now. Thank you. It was hard. I... She... Went a long time ago. I stayed because she asked. Her things are there. She wanted them found. Fuck, 800 years there. Okay. So inside we'll find... Doo -doo, heartstring bow. Pretty good. The orders. Uh, let it be known that the reader... Uh, that the bearer, Inquisitor Ameridin, commander of the Secrets of Truth, travels to the Frostback Basin on the, of the official request of the Divine Majesty Cordillus, Draken, Emperor of Orlais, upon business vital to the safety and security of the Most Holy Empire. That he and those who travel with him are to be offered every service, rendered every assistance, and extended every courtesy in the efforts, or in their efforts to protect Orlesian lives from the threats both magical and mundane. Take watch over him, Cordelius Draculin the First. Kenrick will want to look at the orders. We also unlock the Aegis of the Rift, which is the reason why I came here. All right, they'll tell us what more about in a second. up. There we are. Okay. New ability, Aegis of the Rift. Use the ability to turn the veil itself into a magical shield that deflects enemy projectiles. It can be upgraded in the Inquisitor per or ability tree. Alright, so let's take a quick look at that. Right over here. The, the uh, upgrades are really freaking helpful. You get a um, cooldown from 90 to 60 seconds, which is very helpful. So instead of a minute and a half, it's just a minute. And then this one will send bolts of spiritual energy flying back at the enemies when it is struck. So, it will deal 5 points of damage per character level. That's an insane amount of damage after a while. So let's save real quickly. I would, um, uh, respec Anansad, but I'm gonna wait till later to do that. But I will put it in. Uh, let's see here. Circle. Where's that horn? There it is. There we go. I'll do. I'll show you guys it in a second. Now, if you play a ranged character, th this thing is a godsend. Especially against dragons and other ranged enemies. So I'll show you in a second. Come on now, guys. Kill the Inquisitor! Death to her hold for Hakon's glory! Boop! Now they're protected! Wah! I'm not though, because, well, I have to go out to the battlefield. Fuck, that thing hit, they hit hard. Roll! Ah, invulnerability, that's right. Fuck! That's right, I'm also on nightmare mode. What the fuck? Cassandra, move! Cassandra. Fuck! Good thing I saved. I'm, I'm sticking on nightmare mode just so I can show you guys how the difficulty scales. Didn't mean to go that badly, though. 
Let's walk around the backside, that way I don't have to wait for them to get up there. And take damage while I'm waiting. Alright guys, come on! Fuck, I forgot to equip it! Heal. Come on. Get rid of all of them. Over there. Clustered to here. Shit. And forgot how. Heal. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I may have to actually decrease the difficulty. Damn! I didn't realize it'd be this much of a bitch. <clears throat> the problem is that group. Okay. Um. Uh huh. I, I have to be more strategic in nightmare mode. I keep forgetting that. I'm used to easy and normal mode. No, 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 no. Before I forget. Right there. Definitely gonna have to respect her. Uh, in detail. Alright guys, come on. Hi. Kill the Inquisitor. Alright. And we go. That's a bit better. It's these archers that's the problem. These fucking guys. I've been playing the uh, multiplayer online uh, version for a while now. And always, it always comes down to those fucking archers. Heal. That's so well either. Okay. Mark of the Rift, this time. <laughs> I'm just dying left and right in this set, aren't I? Normally it doesn't take me this long. Usually I just die once or twice and that's it. Stuck inside of it. Cassandra! There we go, get some shield up! The dead and dying, pressing close. Come on! You! Definitely have to change my gear up a little bit. longer than 
that should have. Melodorous, this, more cotton, noise. And this one has more cotton. Damn, that was sucked. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm about to uh, definitely respect uh, an unsolved. Make her a little bit better. First, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, um, I was originally going to show you guys um, a fade rift as well. But since I had to use the mark of the rift, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to build that uh, focus back up and use it later. Alright. Where's the guy? There he is. May I help you, Inquisitor? A spirit on the island held the memories and possessions of Emeridan's lover, a woman named Solana. It told us that Emeridan was here on orders from Emperor Draken himself, and where he went next. Frosty's dimples. I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. Ameridan had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything. What matters is that we've got useful information. The spirit said to follow the river to the north, and something about spires or spikes. Mm. Up the river, uh, the scouts have had trouble with Hakonites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now, your guess is as good as mine. What do you need me to do next, Professor? That spirit on the island said something about a Meriden going up river to um, some place with, with spires. While you search up river, I'll continue studying these buckles. That, um, sounded better in my head. I'll speak with you. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this set. Um, while I'm off screen, like I said, I'm going to clear out the map. It's pretty much just gonna be from here, this entire area here. Uh, there's still a little bit north of here, but, um, I haven't been there yet, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I don't know what's up there. Anywho. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to the Jaws of Akan DLC. I know I am. And I'll see you guys next week where we have a longer set. Possibly even finishing the DLC, depending on, depending on uh, what I do. I'm not entirely sure. So, till then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Let's Play. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And please feel free to like. It really does help me out. I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. Bye.